So if you've been to Whole Foods, or even heard about it, you probably know that it's more expensive than other grocery stores. It's for that exact same reason why I don't shop there. For me, I'd rather spend a couple more minutes driving to get to a cheaper grocery store. So, by the nature of my YouTube channel, I thought, what if there's a grocery store that's even further away, but even more cheap than the one I currently go to? So that's what brought me here today to this video. For four weeks, I'm going to be going to four different grocery stores with the same shopping list. I'm going to float it around here. Those items on the list are going to be chicken, eggs, oatmeal, milk, cheese, rice, deli meat, bread, broccoli, and frozen vegetables. And the reason why I'm using the same shopping list is because that's the only way I can really compare these grocery stores I'm going to. And yes, I will be cooking and eating all the food I get. You know, I didn't include anything like salt, pepper, butter was actually on my initial list, but when I first went to Acme, I realized like there's no way I'm gonna be using two sticks of butter during a week. So things like that, I'm not including. I'm only including items that you'd have to replenish every single week. And the reason why I'm only choosing four grocery stores is because I want to get this video done at some point, and I thought four was a good number to start with. So those four grocery stores are going to be Acme. Acme is like a regional grocery store. It's kind of like your Kroger and... It's kind of like your Kroger. Uh, the next one is going to be Aldi and then Walmart. I feel like Aldi and Walmart are going to be in the running for the cheapest grocery store. And the last, because I hate myself, is <sighs> Whole Foods. And no, 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 it's, everyone knows that Whole Foods is more expensive, but how much more expensive? So with the same shopping list, I'll be able to see just to the dollar amount how much more expensive Whole Foods is. And I already mentioned that I already went to Acme, so let's just go head on right there, right now. So as a disclaimer, it's January right now, and uh, it's snowing. But you'll probably be seeing this in May. So yeah. So Acme was the first grocery store I went to, and I didn't really know how it would compare to the other grocery stores. I know that Aldi and Walmart are probably going to be cheaper, but when I found that the chicken was $5 per pound, I thought that was a little sus. So yeah, I wasn't really sure what to look forward to now at Acme. There was a lot of me just standing around trying to find what the cheapest product was, so here I am with the bread, just trying to find what was cheapest. But in the end, got everything I needed to. And I should mention, I'm not sharing any of the total costs until the end of this video, so sorry about that. Oh, I'm not going to be recording every single one like that. <laughs> it's going to be a little too much. So clearly I didn't learn anything because I still recorded everything when I went to Aldi. But what I did learn was Aldi is so much cheaper. I mean, this bread was 55 cents. So the following week was Whole Foods, but there's one thing I should mention. So call me a cheater, but um, I still have this left over from Aldi's last week. And it doesn't make sense when I go to Whole Foods that I rebuy everything here. So and Whole Foods being super expensive, I thought this is a great chance to not rebuy all of these leftover ingredients, but instead I'll just track it down and add that to the end. So for oatmeal, cheese, rice, and bread, I didn't buy at Whole Foods, but I still kept track of the prices so I could add it on to the end. So here are all the things I bought at Whole Foods. And finally was Walmart. And simply just by going for the cheapest product, I realized I chose all of the great value branded items. So at the time of this recording, it's actually April 2nd now. Uh, this whole project has taken almost three months for me to do. I think just in between me being lazy, I got my wisdom teeth out at one point, uh, and I went down to DC for a week and a half for my brother's wedding. So a lot of things got in the way, but finally we're done. 
and we can finally get back to the whole purpose of this video, which is finding out which is the cheapest grocery store. So as a full-time analyst, I use Excel a lot, so I kind of put everything on there, and I'm gonna take this camera right now and get kind of like a headshot going on so you can see my screen and my head at the same time. Never done it before, but we'll be doing it right now. So let's just get this bad boy moving. You get a good look at my whole setup, baby. Oh yeah, okay. Um, Mm, I don't even know if this will work. Let's see. All right. So if you look at this Excel spreadsheet, these are the 10 items that I bought at each of the four stores that I went to. And these prices are the exact price I paid. The only exception is I included the original price on this spreadsheet. I realized that the items that I bought on sale won't always be on sale. So for the sake of consistency, we're keeping it all original raw prices. So this tells us a little bit, right? Whole Foods is more expensive, and you see that Aldi it would be the cheapest according to this. But we have to keep in mind is the quantities that these stores sell their items isn't always gonna be the same. For example, Whole Foods sold their box of oatmeal in a packet of eight, but the other stores sold them in packets of 10. So I had to account for that and standardize exactly what quantity of items we wanted to buy. So I won't read them out loud, but on the left side you can see uh, exactly what we standardize them all for. And once you do that, all the calculations change. But what has remained the same is Whole Foods is even more now the most expensive grocery store, but Walmart actually now takes the crown for cheapest grocery store, which is really interesting. Feel free to pause, by the way, uh, if you want to just uh, take a look at this longer. And I decided to go a little above and beyond and give you a little heat map as to perhaps what are the items that cause these grocery stores to be more expensive or less expensive. And what stands out immediately is Whole Foods, 224 for an, a pound and a half of broccoli. And that's like the only thing that's like relatively cheap there, which is really funny. And Acme is just insane. Uh, I, don't, I did not know that it was this expensive until today, really. And Aldi and Walmart, they pull through super cheap stuff. I realized I didn't highlight this value, which is uh, my mistake, but I'm not going to change that because I'll this no. But yeah, those are the, uh, those are the calculations. The Walmart's the winner. So Walmart takes the title as the cheapest grocery store by a narrow, narrow margin over Aldi. And I know your grocery list is not the same as mine. Walmart may not be the cheapest for you. And I didn't even check out all the grocery stores around the area. I only chose four. So maybe there's a hidden gem out there. Comment down below if there is. So I hope that gave you a little bit of insight. You know, obviously Whole Foods is really expensive because the food is just better quality. Acme, on the other hand, I have no idea why it's so expensive. I need to stop shopping there. So thank you for joining me on this journey. Thank you so much for watching. Have yourself a great day. I'll see you guys later. Thank you.